going on guys? Welcome in. My name is Adam. I'm with OrlandoDrummer.com and I really appreciate you guys checking out this lesson. Uh, today is a really simple lesson. We're learning a two bar phrase and it's going to be in 16th notes. So we're learning a total of 32 notes and you could phrase that as 30 second notes if you wanted to. But for the sake of teaching and making it a little bit easier to communicate the information, we're going to learn it in 16th notes. So we'll be learning two separate bars of music today. Uh, if we take a look at the first two beats of the first, basically the fill that we're going to learn, uh, one E and a, two E and a. That's eight sixteenth notes. So we're going to construct those eight sixteenth notes by separating the groups a little bit. We're not going to go by the actual beats or a group of four and a group of four. We're going to construct that by looking at a group of three and a group of five. So our group of three is going to be right, left, kick. Our group of five is going to be right, left, right, left, left. For orchestration, the right hand in the group of three is going to be played on the rack tom then a ghosted left hand on the snare drum, and then our kick. For the group of five, we're going to have a right hand on the floor tom as an accent. Left hand is going to be ghosted on the snare. An accented right hand on a closed hi-hat, and then two ghost notes played on the snare. That takes us all the way to beat three. For beat three, we're going to play a paradiddle, right, left, right, right. That's going to be played on a stacker or on the bell of a ride cymbal, wherever you'd like, and you can leave your left hand on the snare as a ghost note. Uh, you're going to continue to play a paradiddle through beat four. So beats three and four, three E and a, four E and a, will be right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Remember, your right hand will be on a stacker or a bell, left hand will be on the snare, and you're going to want to have a kick drum play with every single right hand. So kick drum and right hand will follow each other the whole time. On the downbeat at four, we're going to play an accent on the snare to make sure that note pops out, and then we're already halfway done with this fill. Let's uh, give this a shot. This will be a 16th note. Uh, one bar phrase, we'll play it as a fill. I'll play it at three different speeds. Pay attention to the orchestration and the accents. Those are two things that are gonna make a really, really big difference once you learn the pattern itself. Alright guys, if bar one is feeling alright and you have that down, those orchestrations are comfortable, the accents are easy for you to pop out, then you're ready to start the second bar. Now the second bar is very, very similar to the first one in that the pattern is almost exactly the same, but the orchestrations are where it's going to change, so we're not going to put these notes in the same place on the drum set. So now, let's take a look at beats one and two again. We're going to construct them in a very similar way. We have a total of eight notes, and we're going to get those eight notes by playing a group of three, and then separately playing a group of five. The group of three is going to be exactly the same as the first time. An accented right hand on the rack tom, a ghosted left hand on the snare, and then a kick drum. The group of five is going to be slightly different. We're going to be playing four single strokes, right, left, right, left, and then a kick drum. That's going to complete our group of five. For orchestration, the very first right hand on those four single strokes will be accented on the rack tom, and the second one will be accented on the snare. Those two single lefts will stay on the snare drum as ghost notes the whole time. Now, when we get to beats three and four, again, we're going to play a paradiddle, but we're going to change up the orchestration quite a bit. Your kick drum will not be following our right hand at all. What we're going to have is on the downbeat of three, where the first note of the paradiddle begins, that's going to fall on the floor tom as an accent. We're going to continue to play all the rest of the notes of the paradiddle on the snare drum as ghost notes. Um, so once we hit that E of four with our right hand on the hi-hat, we're going to have two ghost notes played as a um, play with our left hand on the snare drum, and then we can crash on the one, and we're done. Let's give this one a shot really, really slow, and then we're going to combine both of these phrases together, pick up the speed, and see what we got.
right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. These fills were a blast for me to create, and I really, really enjoyed, uh, enjoyed writing out different orchestrations. I have several different versions of this same fill that I play all the time. This is just one of my favorites and one of the most interesting ones to teach. Uh, I would love to see you guys uh, have your own take of this, so feel free to post uh, any ideas to change the sticking, change the orchestrations. I would love to see video responses. Anything like that would be awesome. Uh, thanks so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them here in the comment section, or you can contact me through Facebook at facebook.com slash the Orlando Drummer. And again, my name is Adam. I'm with OrlandoDrummer.com, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Thanks.